Okay, then apparently here we're about to take on the first boss. And as you can see, I've got a habit of filming the first bosses lately, so let's go on in. Now, I started filming a little bit too early here, so I'm going to have to take on some rudimentary bad guys and, you know, just smash them up with this battle axe I've got going on. The jumping attack seems to be the best approach, in my opinion, because you can avoid... I'm not sure if it confuses the computer, the AI, uh, more than anything, but um, you're less vulnerable to attack, I've found. Anyway, here we go. We're going in the gate. And... Ladies and gentlemen... Introducing... The Bigger Dude Squashing the Big Dude. Here we go. Now, in all seriousness, my strategy for this was the jumping attacks. Because the jumping attack allows you to maneuver while attacking, as you can see, I'm able to attack, swing around, and get out of the way. If you attack from the ground, you're not going to be able to do that because you are stuck in one place. So the aerial attacks really are essential here. And all you've got to do, really, is avoid his wall slams, and then he ends up on the other side. And avoid his punches when he goes to punch her. The, the spikes, it's all pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's just about positioning. Here's one of his other attacks. There you go. He'll drink some ale and he'll belch and propel backwards. So, yeah, you've just got to know exactly where he's going to move with his abilities. He doesn't do anything too surprising. And he's not all that challenging as long as you can avoid him. That's pretty much all there is to it for me, but I'm going to continue letting you watch this now. But I'm going to make some mild comments because there's still half a video left to go. I thought I killed him a lot quicker than this. But, okay. How do we do a more interesting voice for this? And here we go again. There's the fire burp. And we are doing the aerial attacks. We're trying to make sure we're whittling him down bit by bit here. And the little guys are coming into play now. It's a bit of an unfair fight, wouldn't you say? He has a spiky door strapped to his back, and I have a battle axe, and I'm the size of his thumb. But we are surviving. And he's down! That was supposed to be a bit more enthusiastic, but I got distracted by something outside. Here comes the treasure! And at this point, yep, you pick up all the treasure you can. Hopefully none of it disappears. That is what you're going to use to purchase a bunch of stuff uh, in the not too distant future. Which I may show you in a video, but it's not all that interesting. Let's cut down a princess and get our smooch on. Oh yeah. As you can see, it just gives you a quick stat rundown after that. And we are pretty much good to go. I don't know why I just waited for that to actually roll. But I've unlocked a very, very bland character. Oh yes. And here's the stat upgrade screen. Pick and choose where your stats are going. Awesome times, yeah? Awesome times. Anyway, this has been fun as per usual. Hope you've enjoyed it. And look out for more videos from David Game. Goodbye.